Everything in the cart, I will likely pick up everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. I got this. She like yelled right in my ear. everyone welcome to my channel if you're new here please consider subscribing if you like thrifting content i am at my favorite thrift store in the whole world we are at world thrift where it is cash only in lake worth and i'm about to go in to see what i can jolly flip for profit here we go look how big this place is we're gonna see what we can get um luxury wise for those of you who don't know me i am a luxury reseller here in the state of Florida. South Florida is my area, Palm Beach County area. I sell locally. My own website, JolieFlipsVintage.com, eBay, Mercari, Poshmark, OfferUp, Facebook Marketplace, you name it. I'm also a full-time registered nurse and I do this for fun. Oh, look at this. Vi wait, 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 wait. It's marked, guys. Villaroy and Bach, $2.99. I like them. I think they're pretty. We're going to just, there's two of them, so that's good. You know, with New Year's coming up and stuff. These also caught my eye, but they're not perfect. There's a scratched there, and I am a very picky reseller, and there's a massive crack right there, so I, I just don't want to do a disservice to any of my clients. Um, I also sell on Cherish. I have not been listing very much on there and I also sell on Etsy. So as you can see, I do it all. This is kind of artsy, kind of Scandinavian looking. Let's check this out. Isn't that cool? Too bad there's not another one. I would totally get that, it's so different. So those TV screens tell you what sales are going on. So it's 50 off of white tags 50 off of blue tags 20 off of red it is a random tuesday so there's not going to be many sales but they stocked up let's stop and look at these shoes oh gosh those are big size though 18 wide hmm. is that what i read 18 wide <laughs> i don't know well, eyes are not doing so great Anyway, there's the ATMs, lots of bags along the walls. And let's see what they've got today. Let's kind of Patricia Dumont. That's so cute, little ladybugs. I'm doing a show like in the garden with Jolly Flips. But oh and the topiary is real cool too. It's resin. Oh look. So I think these are spreaders and I just recently bought broccoli spreaders like this like this was broccoli and these were more broccoli let me get this out anyway it won't come out but that is exactly what it is as you can see from the bottom there are rose spreaders they're resin but they're really nice 199 we could put that in the garden which only flips and for halloween i did see the spooky house here Oh, <laughs> it's like a little tea light thing. It's like, oh, I just love the little ghosts, but it's like $4. So made in England, hand painted. John Putnam's Heritage Houses. Is there any value to those? It's $1.99. We'll have to check because I don't really know. That's a Villaroy and Bach vase that I picked up last time, but there didn't seem to be much value to it. This is Johnny Hughes. Very, very clear to see that name. That's Francoma. Picked it up last time too. A good memory. I do. That's the only blessing I have is... <sighs> Just love when there's like an open window. This feels kind of... Let's see. It's made in China, but isn't it so nice? I like that open window. I might pick that up, but I'm gonna tell you the truth. I'm not that excited about the color. Look at this Batosi colored thing here. It's not, it's not Batosi. Oh, it's heavy. 
made in Vietnam, but if you had a Batosi, you could put it near that one. And then that would just be really pretty. It's like Batosi inspired. <laughs> this fun thing here it's pottery oh it's so cute the little froggy blue drip blaze that would be a nice in the garden piece ah but there's a chip and it's four dollars but somebody might pick that up it's kind of magical I like this face it's like a lower body part of a woman you owe home urban outfitters Yes, it's a good brand for four dollars. I like that vase. It's cool. It's like she's got freckles or something on it. I like I like Urban Outfitters. Look how pretty this planter is. It's hand painted. Yeah. Totally hand painted. Why didn't anybody sign that? Oh how pretty. Wow. Oh, just like it though. $1.99. It's cool. Hey there. It's okay. She is putting down, you're welcome, a cobalt blue glass vase that's really pretty. Next to the Batosi style one. It's hand blown. I see a really cute fox back here, y'all. Outfoxed by Deborah, Deborah Bell something. He's so cute. He's $7 and he's looking at a ladybug. <sighs> Do they have any discount on the green? I don't think so. It's hand painted and he's super cute though. Let's just put that in there for now. This is a shelf sitter. David Frickman. Yeah. It's a little head base, probably from Target. Yeah, threshold. I have the cat ones. This is really pretty too. Is it? Ceramic. Tilbur Ceramic. Can we like look that up? Um, when I don't, he when I've never heard about a brand, I like to find out about it. I think that's the best way to know things, right? Let's pay attention to these planters, I'm telling you. Some of them are so worth it. You pick it up and you can't believe what you've got in your hands. This is Odagiri. So pretty. I don't know if you put little decorative balls in it in a beach themed home. A lot of crazing in there. Some people like crazing and uh, things th think that it adds charm. I don't. I don't like it. And I don't like buying things with crazing on it. That's just a personal thing. So then, I mean, for myself. So then I don't buy it for others also. Oh, these bears are cute, but bears don't sell for me at all. But they are cute. They're beautiful. I hope somebody buys that. Unicorns are another thing that doesn't sell right now. By the way, when I say these things, that's just my perspective of it in my area. So perhaps in your area, it would. It would sell. There are stoner cats. There was one. Now there's two of them. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. They're little stoner cats. Bup, 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 bup. Happy birthday, Nikki and Minnie platter. It's joy. Look at these. They ain't playing. World Dalton. No time to die. I don't know anything about this. I know Royal Dalton, but I don't know. <sighs> oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm yawning right in your faces. I'm sorry, guys. Just had a very long week last week and a kind of dripped into today. This is an Ellie Smith um, perfume glass that I, perfume bottle, glass bottle that I didn't want to pick up last time because it was $5.99, but now it's 25% off of it. So I'm going to get it now that you're on sale. Because that's how I roll. It's glass. It's glass and it's nice. And it looks like Red apple. Eight dollars. No. no signature, nothing. Nothing. Still. I'll check. Check it. It's 25% off of the moose head. 
do like this kind of glass. I do wish it was colored. Some pops of color. This is a number one. So if you love your husband, your mate, whatever, just put this by their bed so when they wake up, just remind them they are number one. This is a really nice little yellow glass abstract ashtray, right? It's so different. It's almost like a weird sun. I like how artsy it is. I use ashtrays for my jewelry. I think a lot of people are now. Also, I use it to set my eyeliner down. See across. So I'll put like my rings and stuff when I'm ready to go out. And then my mascara or my eyeliner when I'm alternating, you know, on the eyeliner first and the, and the uh, mascara and blah, blah, blah. So I don't want it to roll off. So I use ashtrays for that. This is kind of interesting because it looks purplish. I don't know who makes that. So pretty. Oh, I have this. I love these things, but I already have one. So I don't know if I should get another one. But these are really cool. At first I thought they were like <laughs> flower frogs, you know, but they're not. Like you could fill different liquors in them. I already have one and it's not selling and I do have it up. So I can't take it, but it is cool because you could actually do different things with that. You just have to buy little things that go in here. Oh, these are really nice. They're so different. Oh, I'm not gonna pick them up. I don't need any more clear, but it's just like to look because I was looking recently and I found a Tiffany vase here. And amongst all of this clear glass, I saw a lattice shaped pattern and it was a Tiffany. Oh, this is an interesting piece of glass. Missing the top. Oh, yes. Oh my God, yes. These sell really, really well, guys. I think it's a Libby. Yeah, and I have another one at home. They're like nude women on it. Oh my God, yay, score. I've given up explaining to people in here why I talk to myself. Because it, it, it creates, I'll just let them stare at me. And if they try to talk to me, so I just kind of, sorry, but I just kind of ignore it because it'll engage in a conversation sometimes where they start asking me, you know, like how they can do YouTube channels or what equipment do I use and this and this. And I'm just like not ever having it. Like I'm not going to be engaging in these conversations when I'm videoing for you guys. So, it just happened. That's why I'm bringing it up. Oh my God, I thought this was wood. It's actually USA pottery. Huh, it's really pretty. $3.99. Huh, I don't know anything about it. Next. Oh wow, look at this. So pretty, it looks totally modern, but maybe it's not. Malacca Woodwork, Malayan Timber, made in Malaysia. That's cool, we'll find any eye. Let's put it up here. Maybe someone will pick it up. Is that licorice set? No, tricked me. Well, some licorice sets are made in China. My licorice set plates are made in China. It said made in China. So if you see made in China, make sure you look real good that it doesn't say Le Creuset on the top. You are loved. Ecolo is a great brand for mugs. 99 cents and it's so smooth. Oh, and it's comforting. It, like intentionally made that way so that it's comforting when you hold it. It's great for someone that, you know, you're concerned about maybe. Oh, I think these glow, you guys. Let me whip out the light. Um, you guys, I don't think it glows really weird because like why would it have a kind of uranium look to it you know that would have been so cool to pick up oh 
don't know. Look at this. I think I do pretty well selling Maker's Mark. This one looks different, like a unique one. It's a double dipped yellow and black. Wouldn't that be perfect for a um, for our whatnot show for the theme, the color? Oh, it's a bit fun. Another one. I doubt it. I doubt it. I don't see it. It's flash colored. Oh, these are cool too. Kind of whimsical. Oh. Oh. Um. Serve. Seen that before. Serve. I did find where that they sold for fifteen dollars. One five. For all four so although i like them they are vintage i will leave them because they're not profitable these are really cool and old just keep going looking down there i don't want any more teacups because i'm over them so, oh, these are nice set of six this is kind of art deco Oh gosh, can I find another one like that? Looking around. Okay, I just looked it up. I can't find any that's sold online, but they're also calling it Art Deco. If there was two, I would pick that up. But I saw I saw a set of two that sold for around 50, but I don't know how vintage it is and I don't want to be stuck with clear glass. Okay, what? Oh, I guess he's a dragon. I don't understand it. It's so 80s. 80 bucks. We want a random multicolor head made of glass. I don't think so. Oops, I was zoomed in. Sorry. Look at this, y'all. This is all brass, and I thought it was pottery. That's how nice and thick it is. It's so well decorated. Oh, man. Oh, man. They want $20 for it, though. I'm just going to pay that much. It's too bad. I don't like it. Um, what's it got there? Nothing. Wow, that's heavy. I did not expect that. Let's look down here. Little bunny in basket. Maybe old Disney? Let's see if there's anything magical inside. No. So banged up. Was this a lighter? What? Oh no, it's a perfume bottle. Missing its tubes. Cuckoo clock. Probably a good one. Winter sloppy cuckoo. Ah, $25. We don't know if it works. I don't do clocks. I don't do clocks. I don't do lamps. I don't do clocks. I don't do anything big. No furniture for now. <laughs> I just don't do it. This is uh, like artisania. Rhodes Grease Original. Doesn't it have like that Artisania look? And there's these. Somebody made these. They did a really got a good job making them too. Smell glass? No. Henrik, Villa Warren and Bach. Well, this is funny. It's a, it's a um, they call it, gosh, I can't think of it, bookend. And it's a mouse laughing because he's going to put the mouse trap on his foot. It's funny. 25% off. It's not like, it's not heavy, so it's, I'm concerned that there's only one. You know, I'm like holding books back, I'm not sure. <laughs> this is an Emil Henry. I recently sold a yellow one, so I know it can sell. So I'm gonna take it and see if this color sells. Gosh, these are different. Whoa. What are these about? Let's look that up. You guys, I'm almost sure when they bought these, they were expensive. I just can't find like any 
this signature. Oh, but this one is totally different. I can't find a signature. It's weird. It's like pressed glass slash fused slash hand blown. Here. It's a big bowl. I don't know. Let me see if I can take a picture of the big one. Yeah, I just can't find any information. I can't, I'm wasting just too much time on that. I wish I knew. This one has like a lion or something. It says Val St. Lambert, Belgium. It's $20. You guys, I cannot believe this is the first time I'm ever walking out of World Thrift without anything. It just, I looked up everything and nothing was of value. And at this point, I'm only going to thrift for things of good profit. And it hasn't been it lately. So let's go check out two more stores. Um, we're already here in Lake Worth, so we're going to go to American Thrift and Green Acres, Lake Worth, like close by, and then we're going to try to get on over to Okeechobee in West Palm Beach, American Thrift out there. So let's head over. Well, looks like I, again, the GPS led me to the West Palm Beach location. That's okay. We'll go back. Let's see if we score here. If we score here, I'm just going to go home afterwards because I'm getting a little tired from work and stuff. So but um let's see if there's nothing here then we'll definitely go to lake worth and i lost yet another black light because i constantly leave it in the carts i know this is 12.99 but i like it i left it in the cart so i'm gonna have to order a new one so somebody actually gets to have a beautiful black light it was kind of kind of giving out on me there for a while since there's not a lot of people here let's go straight to the glass um it's like these candle holders it's a nice piece of glass it has a jr on it and a little very little chip over here and a massive chip there but i don't know the brand so i'm taking it only to look up the brand because I like them. They're they're four dollars each. I'll take them. And these little amber candle holders for ninety nine cents. I'll grab them and maybe they glow. And then here's a. It's ten dollars, so I'm not gonna. The Millie Fury one with the fish in it is a cheap one, so I'm. Really not gonna spend twelve dollars on that. This one has a nice shape to it. Larry Kawa. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I believe that is my husband's um dentist <laughs> or where he goes. Which is really funny because everything in there is decorated. <laughs> I have to get it. That's ten dollars though. I don't know, we'll see. Little $3.99 glass and a nest. I will get. This is Costa Boda for $4.99. Snowball. This is cool, but it's, just, hmm, it's been here a long time. No one's buying it. <laughs> this is. Forget. There's a big old crack inside. Like inside. I'm gonna leave it. Is he swimming? He's swimming in there? How do we get him out of the candle? <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, let's go back up here. I just want to see something. Ah, oh, it's too big. $12. There was a turtle one that was cool. What do you want? <gasps> There's little turtles on his back. Only five ninety nine. I wonder why this big one would be five ninety nine, and everything else would just be so much more expensive. I apologize, everyone. The music was just very loud, and I just knew for a fact that I was going to get a copyright strike um, or warning. So 
I am picking up this steampunk looking apple. There was a name inscribed on it, but it is broken. So no matter what, I wouldn't have picked it up because it's missing a whole part of it, I think, because there was a hinge and everything. So maybe a door that exposed the, the clock. So I don't get super lucky here, but stay tuned because the next thrift store, I score big on something. So stay tuned for the end. I don't want to spoil it for you. Okay, so we are here at American Thrift in Lake Worth. Look at this, I'm so grateful. They have widened the aisles for us. That is so comforting. Is that Pinocchio? Oh no, it's so cute. Oh, he's chipped on the head, I can't. I mean, I guess a little paint would kind of fix that. Ah, can't do blacks. I mean, especially Especially with a chip like that because it's very noticeable if they don't fix it. To my wife and sweetheart, may they never meet. <laughs> uh, that is funny. A little swaddled baby. Maybe Jesus. Oh, just some random bits in there. I don't know why they're upping prices for Starbucks mugs. This was $12.99. Let's see, Hawaii's got to be outrageous. $7.99, you would think Hawaii would be more expensive than Boston. Let's check out Niagara Falls. Which one, New York or Canada? $19. Kentucky is 10. They don't like Hawaii. <laughs> I just can't understand it. I think I see a Boba Fett mug. And it's made to look worn and stuff. $2.99. Oh, I quite like Boba Fett. That's unusual. It's not Darth Vader. I like it. It's usually Darth Vader that you see. Let's look down here. Is that Corningware? I like Corningware for myself. Some kind of decanter back here. I just like, I like them. I like the spout. So I like, looks like recycled glass. I don't think that's the original stopper to that at all. That comes from like a crystal cut decanter. So. And the high C glass back there. I mean, is that how you say it? I say high C. <laughs> high C glass. Oh, look at th this is so befitting since I'm going to Paris. I kind of like this mug. $1.99. It's so pretty, isn't it? No chips. No cracks. I do a French show. You know, to hype myself up. Wow. This is like a really pretty iridescent bowl. Oh, that's just really pretty. $2.99. It's like rainbow. You see it? I don't know if it needed a lid, but this is carnival glass. I don't know how old it is. It doesn't seem so worn, but look at that rainbow effect for $2.99. I'm digging it. So you guys, these are those mugs that I was like debating whether or not I should get. They're from Threshold, but they have a Batosi style. It's like a Batosi style thing, you know? Um, I don't know what the price is. I really like them. I feel like I'm gonna get them. I don't know what the price is though. I'll ask them up there. I wish there was two of these mugs. I would pick them up for five dollars, but um, you know, it's pretty. I like black mugs. It's cut out too. Okay, let's look down here. Oh, it's Kate Spade. That's been circulating. Nobody's picking that up. There's another one around here somewhere. That looks like anthropology, but it's not. It's not. Actually, the flowers are not so grand. 
somebody with a K initial came here and donated, or somebody donated all of the person who has K initial stuff. See this we can add to with the French show. It's a Kate Spade mug for $5.99. I like it. Pardon my French tray sheet. Very cool. Wow, this is a really nice mug. Whoa, it's so thick. Oh, it has a uh, name. Pastels? Huh. I don't know what that is. Just kind of digging around in the mugs. Trust me, I'm a lawyer. Oh, it says almost a lawyer. <laughs> um, I wonder who determines their prices on the mugs. Gosh. Florida Derby, 1952 to the to 93. This is the Bohemian Coronation Jewels in Prague. Oh, okay. Look at this. Oh, there's no year on it, but oh, just one mug for 199. We could put it on the Disney show. Okay. Oops, did I just break it? No. Alright, I think we're done with this section here. Washer, milk glass here. I'm over a milk glass, though. I have a lot of pieces. So. Oh, I'm gonna buy that. I love cased glass. Is it chipped anywhere? No, but that's gonna be perfect on the Halloween show. If it doesn't sell, I'll bring it back on the glass show. But it's orange. Oh, do I spot Polish pottery? I do. This whole set is $7.99. Score. Polish Slavic. I hope I said that right. Massive score. Cool. Hey. <laughs> hey, I made it worth it. Is that a very old bell? Oh my gosh. Cowbell. This is a cowbell. We need more cowbell. <laughs> Comment if you know what, what I just referred to. Oh, that's a nice amber oil lamp. $4.99. I don't have any oil lamps. Maybe I'll add this one. I don't have any. I like amber. Oh, little carnival glass dish. $7.99. Should I get that? I don't have any carnival glass. Marigold ones. Hmm. Put it in the glass show. It's a cool looking oil lamp here too. Oh, wow. Art number patent pending. This is a cool oil lamp. And it kind of matches that one, so I'm gonna get it. I don't have any oil lamps, so it is okay for me to get one or two. This is kind of cool. Oh, it's, it's a pencil sharpener for $2.99. Gosh, do I want that? You know me, I'll look up everything and then I'll just take what I feel is worth it. Oh my gosh, I don't even care about the copyright thing right now because I just found more Polish pottery. This is incredible. $5.99. Yes, that is Polish pottery, right? It doesn't say, it says KH on there, but oh my gosh. This is amazing. Oh wow. I will tell you right now, everything in the cart, I will likely pick up everything. Yeah. Oh, wow. She like yelled right in my ear. No respect. Um, this is flash colored. Mexico, lead free. Isn't that so nice that they actually tell you that? I almost want to get that just because it says it, but the 
colors are a little boring. It's like a little bowl. Unfortunately, pink glass doesn't really, doesn't sell. Oh, this is really pretty. Oh, how whimsical. It's only $1.99. I'm have to find out about this. I like that. I know it's clear. I think we should bring clear back. Oh, these are those refrigerator containers that I love. This is only $1.99 <laughs> for them. I actually use them. I really love them. $1.99 is a really good deal. I like to make like tuna in them, like tuna salad. They stay very, very fresh, and then you can store anything. You just have to, you know, be patient with the fact that it's glass and glass can break, which is why a lot of people don't use it as much. Oh, cool. My birthday's in September and this doll says September. Oh, I mean, she's really cute. Oh God, I don't know anything about dolls. Made in Korea. There is a section that I want to see. I think it's here. Up here. Excited to see. Okay. It's crazy to me that they put the knives high up on the shelves, and when you touch them, you know, try to bring it down, you can cut yourself. But they do wrap it in duct tape. This is a longer burger, isn't it? Look at this. Oh my gosh, a longer burger basket. What is that, you guys? This is gonna be worth something. Is it missing the top now? I'm gonna look this up real quick. Okay, so I don't have a lot of time to look up what it is, but for $2.99, I'm gonna go ahead and get it. You know, because it might have had a lid that goes on it. This just needs a quick clean. But, I mean, it's just missing a lid. The insert, maybe it's a cookie jar. Yeah, the insert already has a lid, so. <coughs> Excuse me, but there's so much dust. So I'm just gonna get it. That is a cool find. These are so cute. They're religious. So, and not everyone is religious. I like buying cards here because I want to start putting in little cards in my packages when I'm sending things to people. You know, like a nice thank you for purchasing from me. This, this looks like a good lot. The Celestron. Oh my gosh, how much do they want for that? Oh my gosh, it's such a mess. But oh, this is sad, you know? So it's a good company. Oh, there's of $50 and they, they want to buy they want us to buy it after they shove it up like that oh my gosh how do you even test to see if it's works these are little um, lacquered saucers there's a long line so closing and we're being bad but more Polish pottery see that some bags here that are quite nice. They're from Home Goods. So I don't want to buy those. Not that I have anything against Home Goods, I just don't want it. Some candle holder bears. Oh, oh I'm dropping stuff. Yeah, I knew that was Polish pottery too. You guys, somebody might have passed away and gave away all, somebody gave away all of their Polish pottery and I am scoring and getting them all. I don't think this box is very old. Oh yeah. Wow. Hmm. It works. Oops, we definitely have to get on the line. I didn't see any more Polish pottery. That was really cool. I don't know if that's longer burger. 
That's Willow Tree for $7.99. No, 